Hey guys, welcome to episode 5 um, of Let's Build. It's been long awaited. <laughs> um, this episode obviously is commentated. Um, so I'll be basically showing, um, I'll give you a tour of the place, of this thing. I'll also be, let's go up here, I'll also be um, showing you what I'll be doing with the floors. I might do a little bit of building, uh, probably not though. So first of all, this is it. Um, a couple of people have asked me why I dug a hole in the ground. What the hell was that for? The reason is, that goes down, not 32 blocks, I was going to say 32 blocks, it goes down like 15, 20 blocks. And if it didn't, then it would cut off our building. Sad face. Um, see, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, so that's 18 blocks up, that's as high as we can go. And I, of course we'll be probably adding to the top, because, you know. Um, next thing, uh, I'm going to show you. Next thing I'm going to show you is um, what I use for well, it's called it's called world edit. So what you do is take take your wooden axe, which is the default mate tool, um, and you basically select see first position. You go up here, oops, go up here, second position, and then you go T slash slash. That's that would be for single player commands. That's world edit set. Zero and zero is the data value for air. If I was to set it to eight nine, oops, awkward. Oh, sorry, it's set first position. Oh, because it's the it's the top of the thing you can't select up there. So if I was to set it to um, eighty nine, that is glowstone. Let's set it to glowstone. Or if it was, um, say, think of a given random number, 26. Which is, what was that? Oh, it was beds. Huh, how about that? So yeah, things like beds or cake won't, won't really work, because they go all retarded. If you look at my first episode, I set a chunk of the front of the building to cake, and it, yeah. You know, if you want wool, because there's many variations of wool, like set... 35. That's white wool. Set. 30, 35. Colon. 3. It's blue. But for now, we're going to set to 0. Alright. Now, down here. Um, so that's why I dug into the thing. And I actually bothered to put the stairs in. Um. Now these doors, they're retarded because you stand on them, they do that. Anyway, doesn't matter. So as you walk in, what will be in here, this will be like the, obviously the atrium, or the foyer, or whatever. So it'll be like a front desk thingy. And I want to put a piston elevator in, you know, depending on how well that works, so just straight up piston elevator. Um, now I still have to put windows in, so it's not going to stay a grey box, which is what it looks like. Um, so here's my decorative light thing. Chandelier. Chandeliers, I guess you would call them. Uh, it's the first atrium floor. Next floor. It is going to be... See, I'm still deciding whether it should be offices or apartments. I think it should be offices just because the layout, because you got this thing in the middle. So, probably be offices. Same thing with this floor. That's the end of that. That's the end of that big. That's the end of that bit. Now, you think it's more floors, but it's only three. Up to the second floor. Now, this is a big chunk of it. Sorry about that. Um, now, this is... You know how at some cafeterias and things, they have... It's like a wishing well, actually. They have, um, 
I can be deezer. Uh, this is this is basically it. So this would be like the cafeteria floor, but it's you know it's fairly steep. So I'll probably bring it up and have like I don't know something there. In fact, that's what I'll do right now. So I'll, I'll give you a live demo. Basically, there. Second position. Now, what we want to put here is stone, and of course, stone is a one. I've also got too many items installed, which I find better. The like the the interface is better than creative mode. Okay, sla t slash slash set one. Bang. Look at that. Using is uh, single player commands. Most of you, all of you, probably are familiar with that. Oops. Um, what I'll be doing is, of course, people, you know, many people are saying, I should say that actually, um, you know, people will think that I'm cheating, of course, with, you know, using mods to build this, but, um, for the whole of the inside, like this, I will be doing it by hand. When I say by hand, I mean um, placing blocks individually, not mass placing blocks. So I'll give you a demonstration of simple like thing and show you what it can do. So if we go here, we go T slash spawn squid, often referred to as the autistic mob. Minecraft, or say 15. Look at that. Stupid spawn in the worst places. Now, up here, uh, I'm gonna go over here. T slash spawn. Spawn of 5. T slash spawn. These idiots. Oh, there's one. There you go. We've killed one of them. These idiots. Oh, look, he's drowning. <sighs> anyway, we're going to make a reference or anything. I don't know why I put that in there. Just decided to. So there's. So there's and there's like a space up here that I just um, covered with glowstone. See, because if you go here, you have to, and it's, you know, it's annoying. Going like, bang, straight in the inventory. It's easier. So, that's this floor. Actually, I like that much better now. It can actually be a cafeteria. I don't know how I'm going to put restaurants in or whatever, but, you know. Ah, oh, announcement. In one of the previous episodes, you notice I have had a chunk error and visual went glowstone straight down there, basically all the way till the last generated chunk. Um, and you notice here it's not here, and you probably saw it. Oh no, actually off screen, I tried to fix it up, it didn't work. So I exported, copied and pasted it, this whole bit into a new world with the same scene. So it's basically exactly identical. I did some more stuff off screen, off camera, off screen, off camera. Not really camera, because it's not camera, it's a Anyway, it's a thing. So we'll dive into here. We'll track on no clip, so it's easier. Alright, so up we go. This floor will be 
requests. This will be apartments. Is that what it's for? This floor, because it's on. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, go back down. So all of these will be apartments. This will be a maintenance floor because it's only two blocks high. And this will be the Pontos Suite, the penthouse suite. So, you know, let's, you know, get to work on it. I may as well, you know, start something. Okay. The reason I'm using World Edit is because it will take way too long, you know, with not using it, placing every block individually. In the first episode, I did, and you saw how long it was taking. It was taking. I was taking way too long. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't afford to to <laughs> waste that much time. Oops. Plus, it would take like years. Ah. See, if you don't do the double slash, it uses single blank fans and creates a waypoint. Set. Should just do the top. Knew it. I think I just stuffed it up. Yeah, I did. Which is T slash set. U N D O. Oops. U N D O. Anybody that uses a computer, anybody that uses a computer will know that that's probably a friggin' awesome button, or you know, command, or whatever you want to call it. Bang. So what was that? Second position. Bang. T slash set twenty. Okay, so I should say twenty. All right, so that's you know the outside. If we go outside, chop the leaf out. We don't need the leaf. That's a way better idea. Why? I might. people that big like blah, blah, blah. I really admire people that build like the really big things that, that you don't use mods. I mean it would take so long. I don't have that time. So this is series one, which of course is the skyscraper. Series two I have plans for. I th I have a good idea of what I want to do for it. I should explain actually. So each series I'll be building different f thing, like a really large thing. Um, some series I might need not use mods if it's smaller, but for the next one I have an idea what I'm going to do. It's mass, it's going to be big. But if you have a, think you have a better idea of what you want me to do, don't want to do what you want me to do, then I will think about it, like in terms of the next series. And if it's good and I like it, 
then you know what the hell why not so leave a comment in the description description uh what are you two so first position second position second second position second position Slash slash set. Oh no. Oh no, two. Uh, what else is there I going to talk about? Um, so this channel, Optimistic Decoy, will have many series. One of them um, is, of course, this let's build. Let's build. So two. Um, another one of them, which is actually going to be uploaded before this, I believe, if I can get it done. It's called uh, Portal Cop, which is the extra bit. I, believe, I think it's called the ball, but I think no, I don't think that's right. Um, if it is, then yeah, you got it right. But it's that cult, it's that extra cult bit. That's a bit that's um, not many people are doing in terms of YouTube videos. So me and a friend, Luke McKenzie, his channel is Random Daily Gaming. You can go to that and check his stuff out. Uh, with him, uh, um, we did that, and we're also going to do another series if we can, you know, get it done. It's called Minecraft Server Adventures, where we go on different servers, you know, check it out, see if they're any good, and you know, sort of recommend them, I guess, to you guys. And there's just like the little, little, there's the Let's Build, which is what I'm doing now. Um, I don't know if I'll do. Oh, yes, this is another series I've been wanting to do. Whether I do it co-op or not is still a question mark. Um, but I want to do one where I, it will be hardcore mode, like, sort of like, um, Paul Saw's Junior's Man vs. Minecraft, which is like Man vs. Wild, but Minecraft, you should have a look at him too. Um, uh, but I want to do something like that, but sort of be like Minecraft, sort of like a hobbit. Or something where I want to go have a f good find a good seed. The seed I'm looking at at the moment is race car driver. It's like mountainous, very mountainous, and it's got like heaps of like uh, holes in the cliffs, holes in, like, caves in the cliffs and mountains. And I want to go like live in one of them and see how see if I can survive. So. I probably call it like Minecraft Hobbit or something. But in the first one I'm gonna live in like mountains and see if I how long I can survive there. Second one, I might see how long you can survive underground. But the key to surviving underground is really is finding a is finding a um abandoned mine shaft so that you can get seeds and food and stuff. Once you find food, I mean you're good to go. Another one, another one, which is what actually Paul Sawyer Jr. is doing at the moment, is, um, what's it called? The Nether. See the lungs above there. And it's impossible to survive in the end, so I'm never going to consider it. So now, how will I lay out this? <laughs> 